Morvin Williams has said that there is a drive by the government to fashion people's minds to believe that Ghana's population has passed the one million mark. Mr. Williams is an executive member of the People's National Congress Reform and an indigenous advocate. There was a 2022 census that hasn't been released to the public. Commission on the Ghana Elections Commission Vincent Alexander believes that the 2022 census would put the population over 800,000. Vice President Mara Jagdiot said during a press conference that there were about 264,000 households in Guyana. You may recall that at some point in time, that Vice President said that the census figures are likely to be around 800,000. So he offered a figure prior to all of this mess about households that we're talking about. He offered a figure of around 800,000. He's now offered a household figure of 206 or something thousand. Alexander has said that the Statistical Bureau hasn't published those numbers. GCOM had found problems with the concept of households. GCOM has found circumstances where people give addresses and when we go, it's an empty lot. And people say, we don't know anybody in that name who lived here. The electoral role used by GCOM would capture people who are 18 years and older. But even then, there can be problems. We have an election rule that facilitates the presence of persons as of 2008 who have registered, many of whom are overseas, a great portion of which would have died. The introduction of biometrics would indicate the actual number of people 18 years and older. If I have so a biometric mechanism, then you can even use that in the process of distributing the cash so that you have a system where only eligible persons are able to draw because only persons who are authentic and on your register and identified by the fingerprints will be able to present themselves and to collect the money.